Hey guys, Deal Gaming here, back on the Deal's Gab server. We actually don't have NateY59 in a call today, if you can believe it. Uh, he told me to Skype, then I got on Skype, and he wasn't online. Uh, he's not in the server anymore, so I don't know where he went. But, uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and throw in a record here real quick. Turn down our sound. Okay. That sounds like a pretty good song. I'm gonna show you some quick design choices I made over at the farm. You can see I replaced all the corner blocks with stone. That's because they don't grow on stone, and I think the pattern just looks really cool. Uh, and they won't grow on the corners anyway, so I'm not really losing any spawn space. It looks like I'm going to need a new axe soon. That kind of sucks. <clears throat> but you can see I made a ton more bread, so we won't be needing that for a while. That's some good music. I hate C4, uh, C418 most of the time, but that's half decent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throat's a little sore. Alright, and I told you this episode we would be working on the palace, and we are going to be doing that. So, uh, I figured we would try some new materials today. We are going to be working with... Put these away. Just get all the room in my inventory that I possibly can. I'm going to need gravel. Ever. Uh, we're going to be using... Let's see which chest. Here it is. Some sandstone. I think I'll bring some of this with me as well, just so we can convert it. <coughs> Ugh, throat is really sore. Okay, then we'll come back for more if we need it, which I bet we will. Let's also bring some cobble. That should blend nicely, and then maybe some nether brick. There should be plenty of materials. Let's go try it out, guys. I just slept, so it's day. And I have a nice big ice plane over here where we're going to be building our stuff. Oh, some squids. Give me your ink sack. Oh, their AI is so weird. I don't even know why they're in the game. I guess just for black dye. Okay, and it looks like we had a creeper explosion over here. That's not fun. Alright, but let me show you the ice plane. You can see it right up there. It's a it's a huge flat area where we can pretty much go as big as we want for the build. And I thought it would be really nice. You can see I've cleared out a lot of space here. This was actually all ice. So I had to go in and replace that. Let's see if we can take this tree down without breaking our axe. Alright, there we go, and we may need to flatten out some more actually over here, depending on where we start the build. So I think what we're going to start off with are actually some nice columns. Show you how I want these, it should look pretty cool. I want to get the dimensions first, so let's say if I put the pillars like this, oh, I'm getting a lot of lag. I don't know what's causing the lag. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Oh, that's almost perfect. And 32 is a nice hexadecimal number. And I think that should look pretty good. If I go if I go massive with it, then that should look pretty good. Let's go ahead and design how we want the pillars. Okay, then if I put some blocks here. Actually, I don't want to use that type of block for using the slabs. Okay. Use that type of block. Does that look smooth enough? I think it does. Let's try doing it like that. Let's see how that looks on the small scale. 
I actually really like that, and because it's not like a full pillar, we won't have to use as much stone. Now what I need is a way to get down, so I should have brought a bucket over here. We'll actually go ahead and get one of those now, because what I can do is just drop a bucket of water off the edge. We won't have to worry about fall damage. Okay, and I'm hoping it'll snow there too uh, too soon, because it doesn't look good unless uh, there's snow covering the entire thing, or all the ground space. So I'm hoping that'll fill itself. We also need to work on a way to take the pathway through the castle and back over to there. Over to the ice plane. Grab me a bucket. Okay. Grab a source on the way over there and hopefully we will be good. And Hank was getting out, so... I went ahead and gave him another row of fences. Hopefully he won't be able to glitch out of there or anything. Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. I wanted to make sure I had a crafting cable so we can make more slabs if we have to. Okay, now we won't have to worry about the fall damage. Alright. Start working on these. We'll do them in the big scale. Or maybe we'll do them in, like, medium scale first. And just uh, test out how they look. This is kind of a weird design. I don't know if it's going to look good. What are my coordinates? That's 65. So I should probably take it up. I don't know how far. Creatively using the water bucket. There we go. So we're 72, that's 7 levels above. 8. 9. 10. 11. I think 12 may be our level. Let's test that out. Give me that. Okay. Let's see how that'll look from the center. Oh, I think that looks real nice, actually. Especially in Quake Pro, that'll look really cool. I think we should do some more with the slabs around the sides. Maybe something like that. That looks kind of weird, though. Okay. Try that out. I'm going to get rid of that one in the corner. Maybe like that. How does that look? I don't like these jutting off the sides. I don't think that looks good. I'll put another sandstone right there. How would that look? And we actually use an entire stack of that for one pillar. That's pretty awesome. Um I'm going to remove these extra ones from each side, and then we should be good. I think that looks pretty neat. I think it's tall enough. If not, I'll just raise it some more. <coughs> Let's get working on these. Let's make sure we've got the design for the steps correct. Or for the slabs. Three on each side. Okay. Okay. on each side with a jut of one. I think that's how it goes. A 
voila, and then we just fill the rest of them with our stone. Okay. And I think all we have to do is use up the rest of our, our stone and we should be good. Or wait, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I gotta put some in here. Boom. There we go. Oh, missed it. Okay. And we just gotta use up the rest of them. Dang it, that's gonna leave me one short. I'm actually gonna have to get that. Oh, wow. Smooth. Real smooth. Okay. So then we've already used two stacks, and that's just the pillars. That's great, isn't it? Two. No. Oh, wait, that's 12 levels. Where did I not pull one? Or actually, where did I not put two? Oh, oh, wow. Stroke of genius. Okay. I could go around dumping the water to clear out the snow. Because it either looks good, you either gotta have it, or you gotta have none of it. Everywhere or nowhere. Alright. That doesn't look too bad. I'll just flush all of that out. Okay, let's do this side as well. Okay, hopefully we've got quite a bit of that gone. Now, for the entrance way. Um, what am I going to do? Am I gonna... Ooh, I almost think these have to be taller. Could I bridge those together? That's gonna require a buttload of sandstone. Let's kill this guy. We should eat some food, too. Did he seek me from all the way over there? God, that pathfinding. Still getting hits on me. My, my armor's fine. Alright. Okay. Now as far as the entrance goes. For the floor. I think from right here. Maybe right here. We're gonna start replacing that with cobble. Eat my bane of arthropods. Ouch. Eat my bane of... What are humans? Oh, that's a fail. Quadrupe quadrupedes. No, they're bipedes. Alright, I was about to do something. What was it? Oh yeah, replace it with cobble. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need a lot more cobble. Guess I've got one, my work cut out for me on this project. Hopefully I can get some others to help me with it. Oh no. Oh. Wow. You actually didn't destroy my cobble line. Thank you. Sometimes I think that cobble has more blast resistance and like durability when you're when you're mining it than stone does. I don't know, I'd have to look that up on the wiki. Okay, back to replacing with cobble. The distance between them is 32 blocks, so this is farther than 32 blocks. 
you couldn't figure out that on your own. Figured out that. If you, uh. Moving along. Fall into the creeper hole. There we go. Oh. Wow. You're mean. Are there any creepers around? I think I could actually farm a record pretty well. Oh, there are some creepers and a lot of skeletons, so my chances are pretty good. Let's farm a quick record if we can. I hope the skellies are following. I gotta get two hits on the creeper. Start swimming away. Ouch. They're following. Giving chase. Come here, you creeper. Oh. Alright, I don't think that one's taking any hits, so let's get him down. Oh, oh well. How are they still hitting me when I'm completely underwater? Let's take this guy out. They're impossible to fight in water. You have no chance. No way to dodge. Let's strafe this guy. God, whenever you get too close, you're just, you're hit. That's how it works. Try to ML, wow, never mind. Getting hit from both directions. Oh, there's a cow under there. It must be hollow under there. Alright, I was trying to farm some records, but... Back to the, uh, the old building grind, I guess. Oh, we got another creeper there. Are there any more skellies? There was the one over here. He's still around. Oh, yep, there he is. Come on. Mr. Creeper. Let me give you a couple hits, okay? Please don't blow. Okay. Punch. Have him take a shot. Oh, Bane of Arthropods. Bane of Arthropods. Come on, Mr. Creeper. Line him up. Oh, how did I know he would blow up even though I was so far away? Well, we can find another Creeper. We could get one. Oh, we got another creeper. Okay. Let's get him downed first. Oh, of course. Oh, freaking course. Blow up when you're like 10 blocks away. Any more creepers? Any more creepers? Any more? Oh, Enderman. Let me show you. I'm going to give you a lesson in killing these guys. Come on. Bro, I'm looking right at you. Come on, dude. There you go. I didn't get any eyes of Ender, though. Oh, he teleported. Is he on top of my block? No. Oh, I guess he teleported away because it was day. We didn't even get any eyes of Ender. That was a loss. Okay, now let's use some of this dirt that we've amassed to go ahead and fix all the creeper holes. Bane of Arthropods. Go. Oh, give me your EXP. There's nothing there. <laughs> Apparently if they stand on half slabs, they stop taking damage. Might even just leave this section flat.
take out some of this. Sneeze. Oh, that was close. Uh, seeds. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I came on fast. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't, like, really freaking loud for you guys, but... Oh, well. What are you gonna do? Just sneeze. Okay, patch the creeper holes, and then we will actually get back to work. I was hoping I could get a few more records, but apparently not. Bad luck with it before, but not anymore. Haha, -ha, I'm a rhymist. It's a thing. It's like a poet, only better. Alright. I think that looks pretty good. Start getting the next couple rows. Okay, we're filling up on dirt. I've always wanted to do a project like this on the massive scale. This is my chance. Oh. I'm getting this as well. We're gonna get quite a bit of dirt during this project. Couldn't already tell. Give me that back. Give me that dirt block. Okay. This is gonna take quite some time. It's like B00's arena. It's gonna take a while. I'm hoping that after a couple days we'll actually start to see some progress. Even this is taking uh, 10 minutes to do. Our arena is going to be, or it's not an arena, it's a palace. Okay, there it goes, it's snowing. That's great. After I had already done the uh, filling up of the, or the getting rid of the water. Or g getting rid of the snow with the water, that's what I want to say. Let's do the next three rows. This entire thing is going to get covered with snow fast. stone i'm all right but i think once i run out guys i'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode and i will get uh, some friends of, on the server working on giving me their stone because this is gonna be a ridiculous project even more so if i'm doing it by myself stone okay we're done with the hole that's good and that is quickly covering with snow so we should get a roof over it at some point oh that's going fast for the building Another stack that's how you do it you strafe back and forth <laughs> we got right in there Fantastic. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows done already. Pretty good, guys. Alright, we don't even have two stacks left. So we'll try to do two more, uh, two more rows. We'll be out of here. the snowballs. Stay away from me, snowballs. You kinda aren't welcome here.
the shovel just tears right through it, which is good. Oh, another hole. Great. Okay. So hopefully we have enough stone to finish off these two rows. Okay, so we'll use our strafing technique. Guys, if you ever need to build pathways, that's how you do it. Use Deal Gaming's strafing technique. When you want to mine, use Deal Gaming's core mining technique. Okay. Yeah, we'll have enough to finish this out. Okay. Hopefully, uh, some people will come over here, and maybe uh, while I'm offline over the weekend, or not over the weekend, over the next day, maybe some people will come over, and they'll be generous enough to help me work on it. Let's do some free labor. Do torches melt the snow? That's what I'm wondering. No. Dang it. That sucks. Because this is just going to be covered. I'm not going to know where the pathway is. Get rid of those. I don't want them. I have a golem farm. Maybe we can sleep. I don't know if it's night. I don't think it's night, actually. Because it was night not too long ago. Alright, guys. We're going to call it an episode. That's what we've done so far. See you guys later. Deal Gaming, signing out.